Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to learn tribal society during the British rule. First of all, let's study what is tribe. Tribe is a group united by a common name, language, territory and culture in which the members take pride. Most of the tribal communities follow an intimate relationship with forest for their existence and subsistence. Nowadays, many tribal communities have merged with the mainstream of society and they are engaged with many modern occupations. But during the British period, many tribal communities were suffering because British communities were dependent on the forest resources. Actually, the tribals did not want any outsiders to interfere their life. But the Britishers wanted to capture their land under the cultivation. So they forced tribals to work for Britishers. Now let me tell some of the tribal communities. They are Mundas, Sandals, Oraons, Baigas, Gons, Khans, Khasis and Nagas. The social condition of tribal was not having any kind of caste-based social division. They lived as they consider others to equal. Land was owned by the tribal. Whole community followed same culture and wanted no one to interfere in it. Each tribal group had its own customs, rituals and beliefs. Now, let's look into the economic condition of tribals. We know they depend on the natural resources. Also, they engaged in different activities such as shifting cultivation, hunting and gathering, herding and rearing, and settled agriculture. Now, let's study in an elaborative manner. First, shifting cultivation, which means they select a land and clear it by cutting down the trees and burning them. Then they cultivate it for some years. Second, hunting and gathering. Most of the tribal used to hunt animals and also gather forest produce. They collected fruits, roots, honey and medicinal herbs from the forest. They either used them or sold it in local market. Commonly, they practiced barter system. It is a kind of exchanging things instead of money. Example, receiving rice and giving milk. When a forest was no longer able to supply their needs, they moved another forest. Then third, herding and rearing. Some tribals engaged in sheep and cattle rearing. They are known as nomads because they used to move one place to another in search of food and pastures for animals. Final point is settled agriculture. With the passage of time, many tribal communities started to settle at one place permanently. They started to cultivate crops on fields near their houses. Crops they divided according to the needs of family in an equal manner. When British started to capture the forest land, many tribal communities became landless. They forcefully taken the land of tribals and made them to work under the British and paid very low salary. Another some places the British demanded revenue from land. It was very high. When the tribals failed to pay, the British had taken their land and made them to do work. Now company need regular source of income so that they pushed the tribals to settle one place because it's difficulty to collect revenue from shepherds as they lead nomadic life. 
That's why British made everyone as settled agriculturalist. Thereafter, the British made many forest laws according to their wishes. Lot of restrictions were put on the collection of forest produce, practicing shifting cultivation, on cutting trees, on hunting and so on. Some of the places British did not allow tribal to stay in the forest. Many of the tribal groups started to protest against British for this reason. In that time, moneylenders and traders started to take advantages. They charged high prices for the goods which they sold to tribals. Also, the tribals often had to take short-term loans from moneylenders who charged a high rate of interest. This made their situation worse. The tribal chiefs also lost their power after the advent of British. They were the leaders and enjoyed their power before the British company. But now they became the agent of British company and compelled them to follow rules and regulations of the company too. By seeing the atrocities tribals started to revolt against British company. Some of the famous revolts are the Kohl Rebellion of 1831-32, Sandal Rebellion of 1855 and Oraon Rebellion. The most widespread and long-lasting protest was that of Mundas Rebellion. It had taken place in the Chota Nagpur region. It was led by Birsa Munta. Their aim was to drive out the British and establish Munta Raj. Birsa Munta wanted to free his people from the oppression of the traders, money lenders, zamindars, and the British. It was also a social movement that aimed at reforming the tribal society. It asked the people to give up the evil practices considered as drinking liquor, performing animal sacrifices, worship of evil spirit, and leading a dishonest life. However, the British suppressed the rebellion and arrested Birsa Munda in 1895. Thereafter, imprisoned him and he died soon after. The movement had risen up after this incident and protests continued. So friends, I hope you got a little bit idea about the tribal society during the British rule. We learned about tribals, some important names of tribals, social and economic condition of tribals, impact of British rule on tribal communities, and finally tribal revolts. So I hope you liked the video. If you did not subscribe, subscribe it. For the next videos, thank you. Bye-bye.